Hello, my name is Bishop Christopher Coyne, and through these liturgical blinks, I hope to be able to answer some of the questions that people have posed to me regarding the celebration of the Church's liturgy. So today's question is... Well, there's nothing in the Church's rubrics that says either a lector or a Eucharistic minister has to wear an alb. The alb, of course, is the vestment of the baptized. So anyone can wear an alb if they're a baptized member of the church. It just signifies that that's what they are, they're, they're in, that they've been baptized and are a part of our community. But it isn't required as a kind of liturgical vestment. It's only required, of course, for a bishop, a priest, or a deacon. But ministers like a lector, like a Eucharistic minister, don't have to wear albs. Traditionally, servers at the altar have worn cassocks and surpluses and albs because they just traditionally were part of a kind of what they'd call minor orders leading up to ordination. But in today's celebration, no one has to wear an alb. Now, in many instances, I think people started wearing albs because parishes and pastors were trying to, in a sense, raise the value or the raise the understanding within the community of the value of these ministries, that the lector was in fact doing a ministry within the celebration and the Eucharistic minister was in fact doing a ministry or a service within the celebration so that they should wear albs. But again, they don't have to wear albs. But there's nothing that says they can't. Now one good argument that I've heard is that the wearing of an alb is a great equalizer. That if you have, for example, people who might not have the nicest of clothes because they just can't afford it, and others that seem to be kind of caught up in maybe perhaps wearing a more glamorous outfit than they should at the celebration of the Mass, you put them in an alb and all the people are going to see is that nice white vestment with perhaps a nice little belt around the waist or something like that. So I could see one making an argument for it in terms of that sense of being equal, of equalizing and getting away from distractions. But I think at the end of the day, whether a Eucharistic minister or a lector wears an alb, or not, the most important thing is that they're able to carry out their ministry well. That a lector, whether he's in an alb or she's a not, is able to proclaim the word well. And that a Eucharistic minister is able to serve the community through the distribution of Holy Communion with reverence and with soberness that reflects the great gift that they're giving to the community. My name is Bishop Christopher Coyne. Thank you for joining me. God bless.